men want to look good men want to look handsome and the word beauty is changing to personal well being so amit you run a new age company in a category which is dominated by players who are worth billions and billions so how does a company like you survive in this category most of the big large companies they sell a product we sell a solution very different uh, so when we started our company and we had the same question we said you know what do we do so we said let's use the concept of design thinking not to only create a product but create a company this company is all about using natural resources natural things without any preservative to deliver you a result let's say if somebody has a hair fall issue somebody might just go to market and buy a hair oil we do sell oils but they are hair growth oils or hair fall control oil or making sure your hair becomes softer and smoother depending upon what you seek is what we offer and we deliver you the result what should be the marketing strategy of a company like yours which is small in size is not huge when it comes to sales and also the the budget constraint is also there so i'll tell you it should be concern first you should always try to address a concern right. and uh, then you take it through digital channel digital right. is one of the best channel to get into and uh, for us social works the fantastic way it might be instagram it might be facebook or it might be tiktok all these three things do fantastic for us in fact if i can say in general i'll say about digital our 90% or i can say even 92% of our budget is only on the three channels and remaining 8% is on google right yeah. so so much of dependence we have on social channels the category you operated mostly targets women so actually how, no actually how does no. it work for you actually no today my 70% of my online consumer is men okay uh offline yes you can say it might be 60 women 40 men uh, but i can say overall we have 50 50 okay actually to you will be surprised that you know men the whole world beauty which was very feminine which was on the you know the fairer side of the sex is actually merging today men want to look good men want to look handsome and the word beauty is changing to personal well being so right. there is a huge market for us in the men category which is booming at a much higher pace Uh, most of our hair products are consumed by men not by women most of our skin care products today which are you know uh, getting a better quality of skin better hygiene they are all being consumed more by men than by women today right. and uh, men are becoming more aware and aware and thanks to people like you who keep on talking about it on their channels so i'm sure i'll acquire some more men consumers after this show <laughs> so how do you build a brand on digital as i said ki first is a concern second is authenticity so more you are authentic towards your consumer concerns it's like empathy i know that's the difference between sympathy and empathy so you are actually genuine there you actually cons- you have concern for your customers you listen to them you understand their problems and if you can come out with products which might be like a similar band of people so let's say when soulflower started we had two things one so our purpose is delivering happiness but we said what are the concerns people are facing where they are not happy so one was like you know people are too stressed out people don't get good sleep people have hair fall these are the three concerns we primarily work on so we have products for good sleep we have products for good hair we have a product for good skin so that's how the whole revolution at soulflower has happened the supply chain here is very important that how do you reach the consumer because the modern trade is filled with all these fmcg giants who've taken the the prime space yes so, so how do you yes so even we had the similar challenge that's why we never went to the general trade ma- market we went through the modern trade where uh, supply chain is much more manageable and the second uh, chain which we do or a channel we do is e-commerce right which is very easy to right. reach for any other brand any brand can enter okay. a e-commerce channel and start distributing the products pan india pan world So I think that's what you have to look at. What would be your three tips to budding entrepreneurs, young companies? How to make it big? How to survive? So if I had to start today, I would not start with beyond five products. Okay. Just beyond five products. Not even a single product more than five products. Second, if I had to start today, I will focus on one channel and make it very big, rather than going into multi channels. Right. And the third and most important thing is. i will be very clear of my accounting and finances as an entrepreneur right. at every given moment i'll never be emotional with anything which does not make a financial sense right so i think these are the three things for any entrepreneur to look at at this moment if they are entering the market